but that's what, I, what I'm here to do, what I'm trained to do um, for unfortunate circumstances, and um, yeah, I was just I was just ready to, I've been ready all season. Awesome, we'll start with Jenna. Um, just kind of like going off that, um, Gotham's been in like a very interesting situation with three very high caliber goalkeepers, and we've seen you start a few times, um, you know, over the course of also Challenge Cup and all that, so it did seem like you were very prepared for, for this moment, even despite the circumstances. So um, if you could just kind of like build on that a little bit, like how as a keeper, when you're kind of competing for that starting position, but now you're kind of in it, but you were kind of ready for it, it kind of seems like an interesting kind of spot to be in. Right, you always have the mindset of um, be ready to be on the field, yeah. whatever. Um, you know, so I just went into each week uh, training like I was gonna play and see what um, Juan Carlos decided. And then I, I start that mindset all over again. Um, and that led me to how I am today. Awesome. Mandy, if you'll hit the, there we go. Um, in the back. Yeah. Uh, your, your defense was very good. They were stopping shots, some that would have been very close. How did that build your confidence throughout the game as that continued going? And did that affect your mindset and how you're doing things? Yeah, the defense did awesome today. Um, just We've always asked them to throw their bodies in front of the ball, so um, Bruninha coming up um, big with the save, and um, I think that just hypes everyone up. It hypes the forwards up. It, 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 you know, to keep that shutout um, really just uh, helps us get forward and try to get one in the net. So um, obviously, no, you know, a draw, one, only one point. I'm sure you all wish you could have gotten all three, but still a, a clean sheet. So just kind of what are some, you know, other, obviously the defense was great, but um, some other positives today from today's match that you can take with you into the next game. Yeah, we, we were really focusing on trying to execute um, in front of goal. So we did have amazing opportunities. I think we had like 15, 16 shots. Um, we got into really good positions. So just building off that on how we can execute and be more lethal um, going forward. Um, I, I'm really happy with the, with the team and, and getting the spots that we got in in the box and, and the attacking third and um, yeah, n now it's just the next phase. Yeah. Yeah, with the team rotating as much as they do, um, there seems to be a lot of trust within the squad, so just building on that trust, like how is it, like whether that's a locker room training, like just talk about the trust. It's the awesome. Team. I feel like I can rotate and go be the six or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, we have so much trust um, out in the field and everyone's voice matters um, in training, so I just think we all build off each other um, and it allows that, it, you can see in the game, you know, we can have forwards be outside backs, we can have center backs be nines, and it's just awesome. So I, I really like the style that we're playing. I think it's really hard to defend. Um, and to, to that point, we had Neely Martin go in goal on the last oh my day. Goodness, my so, roommate. What, so what was that like for you? I saw you like kind of hyping her up before she went in. Oh, yeah. So you're just sitting there like watching nothing you could do. So what was that like? It was wild. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I was putting on my own gloves and I just hear, we don't have any more subs. I'm like, okay, let's, next, you know, we just got to move on, roll the punches. And I think Neely Martin is just, she's such a calm presence and she just, she took on the role like a like a champ. Um, oddly enough, early that week, I had her put on my gloves just for fun, and I kicked the ball at her, and I was like, I feel like we accidentally manifested this moment. Um, so yeah, it was just it was just crazy. I know she was so calm after the game. We I we had her in the post game, and she was just like, yeah, that was fine. Yeah, <laughs> she's done it. It happened in college, so I think she was ready for that moment. All right, any other? Um, yeah, go ahead. Going back to yesterday, your thoughts on the Red Bulls and Miami match being a part of that experience? That was such a cool experience, you know, to see the the stadium packed like that, um, and just all everyone cheering for Messi and being able to see him score in the 89th minute. Um, that was just a really cool experience, and happy to be a part of it. All right, and I'll ask Carrie Anderson. Uh, raise your hand if you have a question online. She does. Carrie, go ahead. Hi, uh, my name is Carrie Anderson. I'm writing for uh, The Messenger, and I just was wondering, I, I, with in terms of, uh, you know, the end of a cell, uh, teams across the end of a cell have been showing support for Jenny Hermoso um, throughout with the, the wristbands, and I guess I was just wondering, I guess, what it means to you to see the whole league kind of united around a cause like that. It's a massive, um, you know, as women athletes, we need to have each other's backs, and for us to do it, um, across the world is is amazing to be a part of, and we support her 100%. All right. Okay. Thank well, you, man. Uh, unbelievable game, no? From from the team, I think we executed the game plan perfectly. I think we dominated from start to finish. 
on the ball, off the ball, I think we limited the, like one shot on target for them. We have five out of 18. I think the, the players were outstanding. It was a difficult week with the, obviously five players that, that got injured or that, that came back injured. And how you couldn't even feel that there was players missing. Uh, the, the team was outstanding. They executed everything apart from the goal. And, you know, I couldn't be happier and proud prouder of this team, how they perform, the fans uh, were unbelievable and they are super happy with the style, for us we don't change how we how we play, we perform every week and we perform a high level, we're one of the best teams on the defending side, offensively we need to be more effective, that's for sure, but at the same time our style and uh, you know, the, the, this week there's some interesting data again from our department of analysis, we are the team now in the world since it starts from that's the analysis that press the highest, so we are super offensive. It's just that in days like today, you probably play this game a hundred times and we win in 99, and one of them we drew in it, and it was today. So, but extremely happy with the players, I think the fans, you guys, if you watch the game, I hope you enjoy. We, we did, it's just that we needed to be a bit more clinical in, in front of goal to get those three points. At the same time, I know how important is a point at this time of the year, so I think every other team drew, Orlando lost, so it's a point more with the playoffs and we're going to go now to North Carolina and beat them. Right. Uh, we'll take questions from the room first. Jenna? Um, obviously you have the, the wristband supporting Jenny, just you know, how important was it for you guys as a team to show that solidarity tonight? Yeah, absolutely key. It's been a very difficult week uh, in terms of uh, with everything that is happening. I think uh, myself, but especially the, the club, the players, we are all obviously supporting Jenny and, and her teammates. Uh, and for us, it was very important to get to this game, be able to show it, be able to to try to to celebrate the, the game and making sure that we protect the, the players on a, on a better way, I would say, worldwide, but in this case, it's, a bit heartbreaking for me because obviously I'm a main coach, I'm from Spain and I know how much work he's been behind the scenes to make sure that those girls get a World Cup and it's very sad, it's, it's been emotionally hard for me as well uh, to see everything around the world but at the same time I think it, it was necessary that something uh, like this happen where everyone is united and I think and I hope is the beginning of of a bigger change, uh, and I would say worldwide, but especially in this case, obviously with Spain. As mentioned, coach, you know one of the more offensive-minded teams. You were doubling shots on goal, five to one on shots on goals, rather doubling shots, 50% more possession. Yet you just didn't get one. So how do you build on this to be able to get shots taken and to finish them? Actually, yeah, I think that for us, it's the players believe in the style we perform at a level that the people. Uh, enjoy playing it, the people enjoy watching it, sometimes you can't control referees, you can't mm. control certain things, you need to control what you can control, and sometimes the finishing is something, trust me, we work a lot on it, and, and how we create, how we dominate on the ball and off the ball, and sometimes it's just little moment, no? so uh, one day the ball hit the post and goes in, and, uh, and it's a different game, some day you shoot four times, you score two goals. So, Fortunately, we are fortunately we are a team that shoots a lot of the time, a lot of times, almost every game. But we are not very effective, so we work on that. We make sure that that we can create those situations, that we take care of the detail. And you know, for me, it's the same that, that before. It's you just need to keep believing in ourselves, keep believing in, in our style, and I think the players are doing everything we ask them to. And, is just the final piece, so I'm sure that that will come. JJ? Uh, Juan Carlos, uh, you guys are in the middle of your toughest period throughout this season. How is your mantra of just on to the next, plus having the players back from the World Cup help get you through this time? Yeah, obviously the more players that are fit, the better. Yes, for me and for every coach in the world, because it helps uh, to have more choices, to, mm. to, to be you know, like a better team. Uh, you know, I think the end of the season is the hardest for every single team. Uh, I think we are in a very good position at the moment. The team is playing really well. Uh, I think for us it's just we 
know now I think it's five finals. We got a very difficult one against North Carolina. I think that we've obviously played a few times this year. That, you know, like we, we know each other quite well. Uh, we're happy that probably we've been the better team overall, but that doesn't count next week. We need to be uh, the better team on the day and win. But at the moment, it's just uh, if you look at how we build this this team, it's about focusing on us, creating our style, creating a co-found that, that everyone that sits down watches and, and enjoy and at the same time uh, recognizes. Uh, it's a very complex way to play. I think the players have been outstanding and, and again, you know, uh, uh, we don't put no excuses never, but uh, having five players coming out of, and not being available and players feeling in, you know, like Mandy Hot played for the first time in the league since Chicago, clean sheet, fantastic performance, you know, like Ali Krieger has to come out at 60 minutes to protect her, you know, like we, we, we do so many things where everyone, that it doesn't matter who does it, that they perform at a very high level and I think that's the key. Just in terms of you have World Cup players coming back, but then you also have so many players currently dealing with injuries, mm -hmm. just in terms of how much are both of these things kind of shaping how you approach this week, next week? Mm -hmm. Well, for us it's been, you know, like every week is different. We need to prepare. We already have a meeting because we're training tomorrow about how we manage those loading. It's very important to understand where is everyone individually, making sure that we maximize the, the performances and that they get to the game in the best shape possible. But obviously, for us having the most players, we always say that uh, they need to earn it at training and on, on game days. So obviously, the more players training, the more players to compete, and that's normally better for the team. Uh, but I have to say that uh, I trust in every single one of the players that is in this roster. I think is, you know, I put in Spanish you say something like I put my my actions where my mouth is. No, I think that you could see that like, there was players that have started that were to their events and the other way around and and the players are really understanding that and they've been fantastic, you know. Uh, and I think that now it's a question of making sure that we prepare for the next final and go to North Carolina and win. Speaking of that versatility, um, Maitane Lopez playing center back, I know she can play all over the field, but just kind of your evaluation on how she's been fitting into the team over the last couple of months and how she's in embraced her role here. Well, I think it's uh, very interesting, you know, it maybe links with the previous question because that's a play that we've been managing because of she was coming up the off season. Unfortunately, she didn't go to the, to the World Cup and, and I'm sure she could have played some role there because she's outstanding, she's adapting really well. Uh, I think everyone can see how she is very, very good to play on the ball, very calm, relaxed, manage the tempo, and on top of that, she is a fantastic defender, she's obviously versatile, she can play in six, it's her natural position where she's played the most, but I think that gives a lot of confidence and trust to the players around her, she's growing into it, but we needed to follow a process to make sure that she was ready, that she didn't get injured, she was a little niggle on her second or third. Uh, we with us, and uh, it's a question that she keeps growing, adapting to the league, but probably one of the best players today, no? Uh, fantastic girl, I think she speaks English, which really helps in the integration, but we have a lot of Spanish speaking people as well in the in the changing room, so yeah, I think she's, she's been really good, and her adaptation is um, fantastic. Thank you. Well, and you touched on it a little bit on the last question I had asked you, but what does it mean to the back line in the team knowing that you guys have two extra goalkeepers in here who can come in and get those clean sheets, even though it's unfortunate what happened with Abby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. again, it's making sure from the beginning that we're giving the importance to every single one of them, taking care of every single one of them, and that all of them know that they can be important at certain times, that they need to end it, and now it's coming. You know, it could be Mandy, it could be Mish, and they are both 100% ready, and that gives confidence, you know, to the whole, to the back line, to the field, to the forwards. I think that's the key in a, in a team that everyone trusts the the person next to them, and, and I'm sure that if whatever is Mandy or, or Mish, uh, you know, like the team really trusts in, in them two very different profiles. Obviously, the youngest and, and the oldest version of, of the goalkeepers, but they're both more than ready to to play, to compete, and, and to win. I, guess we'll, I know you weren't at the Messi game live, but did you get a chance to at least watch it at home? Uh, well, to be honest, uh, uh, what I was doing last night, I can't, um, I, can't, I can't remember. I didn't watch it, to be honest. <laughs> I, 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 I 
I, I saw the assist, which was unbelievable. I'm very happy that the players were able uh, to, to come and watch one of the best players in history, male players. Uh, but for me, the focus was on today, making sure I was prepared and, and try to help uh, my team. As I said, it was a very difficult week. I think uh, a lot of things have happened in, in the world that we need, that we need to to be better at, and for me the focus was in the, in the, in the game, but he did, he did well, no? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good, good, good. I'm happy, I think I'm, I'm watching, to be honest, I'm watching him play a lot of times in Spain live, and, and he's, he's, he's okay. <laughs> All right, thank you much, Carlos. Yeah, thank, thank you very much.